mayor's report for November 4th. Uh, I just want to start off talking about the no parking zone that was established on the west side of the school um, a year or so ago. Uh, that no parking zone was established initially uh, after council had received some concerns of a, a couple close calls where kids were popping out from behind parked cars. So to try and remedy that situation, we created a no parking zone on the west side of the school. Uh, Bylaw enforcement officer has, you know, been giving us some good reports. Parents, for the most part, are, are complying, and we're very grateful for that. Uh, but we just want to let everybody know that that no parking zone is there for the safety of children to cross the street safely, and we will be enforcing that bylaw. So it has been enforced, and and it will be enforced. And um, again, for the safety of, of the children at the school. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, the STARS Air Ambulance Program Council recently uh, approved a $2 per capita levy to the STARS program as a contribution to, to the Air Ambulance Program there. They had requested some help from councils around the province that that was the contribution that we had made there's a tender was awarded to uh, prairie dog rural services limited to repair the bridge on the west side of town uh, cost of that tender will be ten thousand one hundred and thirty dollars uh, there also has been um, a proposal that was brought forward um, uh, via the cemetery committee who's been doing a lot of work um, with improvements at the cemetery and one thing they had looked at and been looking at was a columbarium for the cemetery. The, uh, they uh, had done a lot of background work for that and Swift Current Monumental out of Swift Current has, a stat, has came to a meeting and put a proposal forward to council uh, to be able to get a columbarium out in the cemetery in the spring of 2015. Uh, essentially, uh, the proposal basically just asks us to put down a cement pad would be the only cost to the town. Still some, um, uh, still some details to work out, so a motion was passed to, um, uh, to uh, uh, draft a formal agreement with Swift Current Monumental, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to talk about the Communities in Bloom program. Last night we had the wind-up meeting for the Communities in Bloom uh, committee. Uh, we got to take a look at the evaluative report. I think it was very, uh, very good report. Certainly we received some uh, glowing recommendations on from some work that had been done at the Cemetery Heritage Committee, uh, Campground. Um, all received some very good uh, feedback from the judges and I think they were quite impressed with our community. Uh, they don't award um, half blooms, but actually we work closer to three and a half blooms. So uh, if we could have had a half bloom, we would have been at three and a half. So I think we're very pleased with that. I think moving forward next year, uh, being as we're in the competitive level, will be to actually take a look at some of the communities that we're competing against seeing uh, where we can improve upon uh, based on looking at what they're doing.